Mamacita, que bonita, Mamacita. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiani. For those of you who do not know who I am, for today's video, I am finally doing a makeup look. I feel like I have not done a makeup tutorial, get ready with me, anything like that in a long time. So today I am here. I'm going to be testing not something new because it has already been a few months that it came out, but it is new to me because it is the first time I am trying it. So it'll be my first impressions and review, trying out in a video. And also it's going to be a holiday look because it is a few days before Christmas and the colors that are in this palette are very holiday, festive, glittery, reds, and stuff like that. So just stay tuned if you guys would like to watch that. So for the palette, I'm going to give you guys a little hint because it is something that I am wearing, aka my shirt. So I'm just going to show you and see if you guys can um, guess. If you guys did not know, this is my favorite drink of all time. Cherry Coke is like... I love Coke because that is what we are trying out today, the Morphe and Coca-Cola palette, but I love Cherry Coke like anyone else. Put cherry in anything, I will drink it. Alright you guys, as you can tell, I have a bare face on. My hair is done, it's just going to be out of the way today, I don't want it in my face. Um, I'm really going to do a full face with you guys, but I am going to be reviewing and trying out for the first time the morphe and coca-cola palette so this is how it looks like i love the packaging you guys and then this these are the colors so beautiful i'm gonna try not to show the mirror but let me take the film out as well they are so beautiful like i don't even know what type of like look to go for um, and then I also am trying out for the first time the brush set. So this is the Sweep It Real 7-Piece Eye and Highlighter Brush Set and Bag. This is the bag itself. Super pretty. I love Coca-Cola. So I definitely, definitely wanted this collection. And these are the brushes themselves. They're still all packaged up. So we're gonna try them out. Alright you guys, so to start I just wanted to share with you guys what I had on my lips. I have the Jouer Lip Enhancer um, just to kind of, you know, prep and hydrate my lips before putting on anything else later. So right now I'm just gonna zoom in on my face, excuse all of the blemishes. I have been breaking out right here, I don't know what has been going on. But yeah, other than that this is my natural face you guys. You have to wear your own skin. So anyways, um, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. You guys will see kind of a um, time lapse of how I do them. If you guys want an in-depth updated eyebrow tutorial, just let me know. And then we will get into the eye. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my AOA Wonder Brow. My Wonder Brow. Um, this is my Holy Grail. So yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, and now I'm taking my AOA liquid concealer in nude on this type of brush right here. And I'm just going to conceal the bottom. All 
All right, you guys, now that both of my eyelids are concealed, I am going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Pure Beige Powder just to set them in place. Kind of like how you set your under eyes, but I set my eyelids. Instead of a eyelid primer, I just feel like this works much better for me. But it is all personal preference, you know? So this is just giving my eyelid a nice, clean canvas to work on, work with for my eyeshadow. All right, and now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the color Medium Tawny. And I'm just going to conceal the top of my brows with this. Alright you guys, so now we're just going to get right into the eyeshadow look and this is our beautiful palette that we are working with. So I think I'm going to go for a neutral look with a touch and hint of red. So these are the colors once again. So I'm just going to be walking you guys through it and we're going to be trying out our new brushes as well. So yeah. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So the first color I'm going to take is called The Real Thing. It's going to be right here. Just like a really pretty um, tan brown. And I'm going to be taking this brush right here. And I'm just going to be packing that into my crease. All right, you guys, and then I'm going to take this color called Energetic on this brush, and I'm going to take that into my crease as well, and into, like, my V, if that makes sense. All right, then I'm gonna take the color Refreshing right here, which is the dark, darkest color of the shade, which looks like Coca-Cola itself. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna take this smaller brush right there and take that on the very, very outer corner. My V also dragging into my crease just to deepen the look. like so all right now i'm going to cut my crease using my same concealer this part is kind of tricky because i'm not a master at it i still struggle so it may be kind of hard to see but i'm trying to you know do the best i can this is my least favorite part of makeup because i really don't know how to do them you know, I try my best, but I feel like this is the one thing I really wish I would know and could master, but I haven't yet, so I have faith. So that's pretty much how 
I do mine and then I kind of like leave my eyes like almost closed and I'm going to take my same powder same brush that I used to conceal my whole eyelid and set that little part again now it's not going to be perfect at least not for me I know some girls that like are like super perfect super round like perfect semicircle but it's okay to have those little little lines that you know aren't perfect all right and now i'm just going to go back into um all the colors that i used again just to um blend them all together so i'm going to use that one then i'm going to use energetic again And lastly, refreshing. All right, then I'm gonna take this color called Bubble Up on this flat shader brush, and I'm gonna take it right on the tip of the brush, like that, and just highlight my brow bone. I always do this to all my eye looks. to give the look some separation from the brows and make it pop and then I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take this color recognized on the same flat shader brush and pack this all onto my lid where I cut my crease All right, and now you guys, I'm gonna line my eyelids with this Bisu eyeliner. It's a Mexican brand, so I'm not sure if you guys can find it here, but I'm just gonna create a really thin line. Nothing crazy, and I'm not gonna do a wing either. Just like that. Alright, then I'm going to take this little brush and I'm going to take the color Pop Culture, which is that really pretty um, glittery red. And I'm just going to pack it right here on my inner corner. For some color. I will perfect it later. All right, you guys, now it's time for my face makeup. I'm going to start by using my Elemis Superfood um, Glow Priming Moisturizer. I have not used this personally, so this is going to be my first time trying it out. And I'm just going to use my hands this time just because I don't have a brush. And I think I put on way too much. Yes, I think I did. Well... Use it on my neck. <laughs> wow, it's already giving me that glow. All right, for my foundation, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Superstay. This is my all-time favorite drugstore um, foundation. This is in the color 312 Golden, and it's just a cute little pump. And I just apply this onto my face in like sections. And then um, sometimes I will use a brush, but most of the time I've started to use my sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that.
Then for the highlight concealer, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline, I don't know which type of concealer this is, but I'm just going to take it right there. Oh, it doesn't get in my All right, then I'm going to be taking my Esbutate Bronzed in Paradise palette to um, contour my face just a little bit before I, um, what is it called, bake. So I'm just going to do my, um, whatever that's called, I honestly don't remember. And then I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to do a little bit of my nose contour. Alright, so while I am baking my under eyes, I'm going to, I already did my, the rest of my face, I just already like wiped off the excess. I'm going to apply blush, and the blush I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie. I know this is supposedly a bronzer, but I use it as a blush, and I really like it because I have been using it a lot. So I'm just going to take this. like so and then I'm also going to be finishing up my bronzer um, and I'm going to be taking the same palette and just um, bronzing up my forehead and temples because I love to look bronzed you guys I don't know it just I don't know it just makes you look so much better in my opinion who knows you know who really knows but that is my preference all right and then we can finally wipe off this excess this powder you guys I'm telling you is amazing I don't know if I told you which powder it it is the AOA Perfect filter setting powder in matte translucent. One dollar. Go do yourselves a favor and buy this powder. It leaves your skin like so soft and like like do you see my skin? It's like so um flawless. Alright, now you guys, I'm going to be applying my lashes. These are going, these are the AOA Studio Premium 3D Foam Ink Lashes in the style Jackie. So that is how they look. I think I have worn them once before, so I'm just going to apply these off camera and you guys will see how they look now. So these are the lashes super pretty all right you guys so now I'm just gonna um, finish up my lower lash line I'm gonna be taking the dark brown refreshing on the outer all right you guys so that is the bottom lash line i was gonna do a red but it did not look good just because i had my red glitter here so i just decided to keep it natural and just have the focal point of the red glitter right in the middle um and then i did um put on some mascara on my under eyes and with the lily lashes triple x mascara it's my all-time favorite mascara so now i'm going to do my lips and then we'll do my highlighter so I'm going to be going for a red lip just because I didn't do red in my eye look. So I'm going to be using this Artistry Lip Liner in Berry. It just looks like this. And for the lips, I'm going to be using this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Kitten Heels. And that's how it looks. 
so we're gonna say hi you guys so that is how that looks like i really really like it i usually don't go for red lips because i feel like it just doesn't look good on me and i feel like it's just so bold and dangerous and i'm always scared to wear it out but i think it looks really good with this look so hopefully you guys agree with me and now for the last last step i am going to be doing my highlight so i'm going to take my morphe um and every star um mist and i'm just gonna wet my face all right and then for highlights i'm going to be using the complex culture good lighting highlighter in afterglow and i think i've talked about this before but it came in my ipsy bag and it's such a pretty highlight and we're going to be trying out the highlighting brush from the coca-cola morphe collection super pretty i usually don't like fan brushes but for the sake of this video we're going to be trying it out today and let's see how this performs yes do you guys see that So I usually don't like fan brushes because it is like just kind of like one straight line and I like more of a fluffy brush but like I said it is for the sake of the video and um, you know we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose. Ooh. And then my other side. Yes. Wow. All right, you guys, and voila! This is the finished look. I am so, so happy with it. I literally created it just on the spot, but I give props to myself because I really, really like it. I love, love, love this um, palette, you guys. I think it's my new all-time favorite because there's so many neutrals, but then there's pops of color. Like, this color is so beautiful like oh my god so i really recommend you guys try this out the brushes as well they're amazing super super fluffy and soft they just performed super super well and i'm just gonna give you guys a close-up of my makeup look well there you guys have it i really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look with me um if you guys want me to do more of these please please let me know i feel like they're so fun um and i had a fun fun time filming it i just i don't know i just don't know why i don't do these as often anymore maybe just because i don't have time and i feel like with the girls it's very very hard to you know sit down and film a video without them making noise and whatnot just because i don't have my own beauty room and stuff like that but once we move i definitely will be doing more of those if you guys would like to follow my socials please do that it'll help a lot to keep up with me um and it will let you guys know on upcoming videos and giveaways and stuff like that so um with that being said comment subscribe and share this video for my big giveaway at a thousand subscribers we are so close you guys thank you so much um i really appreciate you and all of you for you know sticking around and watching my videos it means so much to me i hope you guys have an amazing christmas this would be a perfect holiday glam that is what i am naming this video you guys so um i really hope you guys enjoy once again i'll see you guys in my next video if that becomes in 2021 happy new year you guys thank you so much bye Oh, by the way, I did want to show you guys my nails because
they're so cute um shout out to my girl aubrey she's my nail tech i feel like they look nude but this is definitely a white maybe the camera's like washing it out i have no idea you guys do you guys see that lighting okay